صلی علی محمد و علی محمد کما صلی تعالی براہیم و علی براہیم فی العالمین انکا حمید و مدین اللهم بارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم في العالمين إنك أميد مديد الحمد لله وجيب تنس الله سبحانه وتعالى We thank Him for sparing our lives to this moment. We thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We thank Him for all His blessings upon every single one of us. Alhamdulillah, 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 Rabbil Alameen. Amda wa sukura. Sira wa jarata Amuda wa zukura Sira wa jarata Lillahi rabbil alameen Amuda wa zukura Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala may he continue to sour his blessings upon the noble prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam the household members of the prophet Muhammad his companions the generality of the Muslims may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept our fasting of worship during Ramadan may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept it all we ask him Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to sour his blessings upon all our scholars our tutors who are still alive may Allah continue making this life easy for them, grant them all the goodies of this life and hereafter. For those who have gone among our scholars, our tutors, our masters, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, grant them a dinner to free those. Bila hawla wa la quwwata illa billah. All our parents, May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be merciful with them. Bijayi Nabina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Alhamdulillah, the continuation of our tafsir of this year, of this year Ramadan, 2024. Ramadan is 14 today, inshallah. We have been discussing about uh, dealing with a difficulty a difficulty time and islamic perspective how can we deal with difficult the difficulty time uh, according to islam we have said a lot to the said the meaning of uh, difficulty then we have talked about uh, what can lead to difficulty. And now we are visiting the lives of the prophets and messengers of Allah. 
just for us to know how they went through a difficult a, a difficult time in their lives. Then how they overcame the difficulty time in their life. So we started with the first prophet and the, the first prophet, Abul Bashar, Prophet Adam alayhi salam. Why are we visiting the life of the Prophet of Allah? It is because the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Prophet said, Ashaddun nasi balaha al anbiya summa salihun summa al amsal fal amsal. Prophet said, the most tested and afflicted people among the among the mankind are the prophets of Allah and the messengers of Allah. They are the ones that they are the ones that went through the trials of Allah, the difficult times, things than any other person. So, for all the prophets of Allah, all of them went through the difficult time. For all the beloved ones, beloved prophets of Allah, to go through the difficult time, difficulty time, who are, who are you? Who am I? Before them, they will be saying that uh, we are going through difficulty in time. So, we started with Prophet Adam alayhi salatu wa salam. We told ourselves the difficulty time that the Prophet Adam went through was enmity. It's only about the enmity al adawatu Baina Adam wa Ibilish. Summa al adawatu Baina Adam wa Zuriyatihi. Wa adawatum Baina Baina him Baina ibn Adam. Ani biha Bainana. The enmity between the Prophet Adam and Shaitan. An enmity between the children of Adam. Each prophet of Allah, each prophet of Allah had a particular major difficulty time. Trial. Each them that you can identify them with. The prophet Adam is what? Enmity. There's nothing like idol worshipping then. So what he faced was face the enmity between him and what? And he believes. Shaitan. They are not to lie alay. So after the Prophet Adam alayhi salatu was salam, we have discussed a lot about Prophet Adam down to Prophet Idris. Prophet Shi'itu. Shi'itu or Shi'itu. Shi'itu. Prophet is a prophet of Allah. So he went to his own. Coming down to Prophet Idris alayhi salatu was salam. All these prophets, they did not go through the difficulty of worshipping. There was nothing like idol worshipping then. That is why we told ourselves in the previous tafsir that Islam was the first religion on the surface of earth. There's nothing in history that before Islam, there's nothing like that. All the, the, the first prophet, Prophet Adam salam, began with Islam. And now God All 
all the prophets of Adam, of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they all believed in Allah. They all served Allah. They all worship Allah, starting from Prophet Adam. And now Kanu al Islam. All of them, they were all Muslims. So there's nothing like before Islam in Israel. You can only say before so so prophet came, before so so prophet arrived, before so so prophet was sent, before the prophet Muhammad was sent. But Islam had been in existence before even before the arrival of what of the prophet Muhammad, sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So down to prophet Nuh alayhi salat alayhi salat was salam. Between Adam, Idris, uh, Adam, Shitu, Idris, down to Prophet Nuh, there were many descendants of Adam, the children of Adam, in between them, and they came. When these people came, when they came, they were also worshipping Allah as the Prophet Adam والسلام, taught them. As he taught them that they should be worshipping Allah, they were all worshipping Allah. They were all on Islam. Among them, there are five righteous men. Five righteous men. They you no, know, in between uh, among the children of Adam, Ali Salat was around before the Prophet No. Can Rijalu Salihud. They are righteous men. They are five in number. They devoted their time for Allah, for worshipping, for serving Allah. They were so kind. People loved them most. People imitated them. People tried to copy how they serve Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They are five in number. These people, these five people, before the arrival of Prophet Noah alayhi salatu wa salam, People identify them as servants of Allah. They worship Allah. They are the one that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is talking about in the Quran al-Kareem. Ahullahi asa ahfadu sayyiduna sayyidna nuh sayyidna adam fil ardi wabadahu يَتَكَاثَرُونَ وَيَنْشِرُونَ يَعْبُدُونَ اللَّهَ وَحْدَ لَا شَرِيكَ لَهُ كَمَا أَلَّمَهُنْ أَبُوهُمْ Adam These five people They are the descendants of Prophet Adam عليه الصلاة والسلام all these children of Adam, the descendants of Adam, they started multiplying, you know, reproducing, increasing. And they spread all over the world. And they were worshipping only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. No partner. Did not associate partner with Allah. As their father, Prophet Adam, taught them. Ali salatu wa salam. Shaitan tried 
He did all what he could do to mislead these people. He tried to mislead them, these children of Adam, Min Jail Ila Jail, from But all these children of Adam, Kano Akuyahu, they were so strong. They were so as the prince shaitan was trying to mislead them to, to move them away from worshiping allah they did not surrender they did not allow satan to penetrate and they did not listen to satan they did not allow satan to penetrate them they did not follow satan Shaitan did not give up. So he was, he was just trying to see that he mislead them. So he was trying to see how he can make them to live worshipping Allah. All these children of Adam Ali Salat was Salam, right from the beginning, they are serving Allah, worshipping Allah. So he tried, so Shaitan tried. He did what he could do. And they was but they are so strong, they did not allow him. <laughs> Shaitan now thought of a, a, a new a strategy, a new way. He thought of how he can mislead them. Even though Shaitan know that it will take him a long time. He said, he was exercise what? Patience. Because the time was so patient. He said, ah, I must get you people, the children of Adam. Even though it's going to take me years, I'll be patient to do so. So Satan was trying to see how he can mislead the children of Adam. Alayhi salat was salam. During this time, within this period, the children of Adam who are worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, there are, there are five righteous men among them. There are five in number. And their names are... The first person among them was, it was who? Wada. The second one, Suwa'an is number two. Yabusa is number three. Yaoka is number four. What does that That is why Allah says in the Quran in Karim, Adaudu min lain, min ashaytanir rajim. Suratu Allah, irahmanir rahim. Islam was the first religion. 
there was no any religion before Islam. You can see these five righteous men of Allah, they were serving Allah, they are worshiping Allah. It's like when we have the men of God among us, you know, we recognize them, you give them the honor. We try to copy them, to imitate them. So that was what was happening then. People regard these five people. They gave them the honor as men of God, the righteous men. They, and there was no any other God they were serving then than Allah. They were worshiping Allah. Naam. Salam says, oh, me, oh my God, oh my Lord, they disobey me, they disobey me, they disagree with me. As only they did not follow me, they did not follow your way. As only. They follow the way that cannot make the uh, children to increase, nor they are what they are worth. He said loss. So Prophet Noah was saying that he was communicating. He was communicating to his God, to Allah. Oh Allah, the reason why I want you to punish these my people to Allah is that they disobey me. And what they follow is something that cannot give them the children, that cannot give them anything, they cannot give them money, something that cannot do, any, do them any, any favor, that cannot benefit them in any way. They plotted. La ilaha illallah. A, you know, Makara Kubara, a grievous plot. La ilaha illallah. Wakalu. Prophet Nuh alayhi salatu wa salam is still reporting. Is the Prophet Nuh who said, Wakalu Nuh who said, out of the report, that proof Nuh was given to Allah was that Kalu, he was saying that they said, <laughs> You know, they, they told themselves that La tazaruna ali atakum, do not leave your, your Lord. Do not leave your Lord. Wala. And do not leave Wada. Because they consider Wada, Wada as they are what? They are God too. They are Lord. Idols. Wala suwa'an. And they suwa'at. Wala yabusa. They consider him also as a Lord. As a God. And Yaoko, these five people, the five writers men, why do they consider them? They later, they later place them in the place of God. Why? Why? How? Why the Prophet Nuh alayhi salatu wa salam reported them? I, I want to tell you that that is how idol worshiping started it wasn't from beginning look at it all the children of adam they are worshiping worshiping allah even these people these five people we mentioned now we said they are five righteous men of god righteous men people regarded them but why they turn them to 
to God. We continue with the reading. We see how Jashaitonu Wakana Nasu, you know what down? All these five, five men, five men, five righteous men, they were also worshipping Allah. But their name, we have mentioned their name. What that? Suwa and Yehusa, Yehuko, what the Sera? They were also serving Allah. But what happened? Wakana Nasu. People so love them because they obey Allah. Because they serve Allah, because they, they worship Allah, people now fall in love with them. And people imitate, no, no, they imitate them, they copy them, they follow them, just because they devoted their time for Allah. When these five righteous men died, when they died, he has been trying how to mislead them. These five men and the other children of Adam, he could not because they were so strong. But when these five people died, Shaitan now came to they are followers. You know, they have already died. It's like the, 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 the scholars died. They now came to the, the, to the followers. They now came to... Shaitan now whispered to them, to the followers of these five men. That they should make the mountain status. This, if he whispered to them that they should make something, eh? yes, he whispered to them that they should make image, the image that will resemble these five people that died. And when they, 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 the Shaitan whispered to them that when you make these uh, images, the images of these five people, five men, name each image with their what? They are names. Give their name to each image. So he told them that when you make this image, like um, try to make them make make five. When you make five images. Give each one the name of each these five rights writers men. Wada to one. Suwaan to another image. Yagusa to another image. Yawuko to another image. Wanasara to another image. Each time you see all these images you make, when you see each of them. So it will remind you. So it will remind you those five writers, men that have died. So it will remind you. You remember them. So just try to do something like that. Shaitan whispered to them to do so. And they did. You know, you love that, you, you, you really, uh, you know, you have the feelings. The, the feelings of uh, serving Allah in those people. You, that's feelings that you have in those five men, five righteous men. You will also be seeing it through these five images. Mm. Satan, he knew that 
He said, if I told them that they should disobey Allah just like that, they will not follow him. So if he told them, he told the children of Adam and the followers of these five people to disobey Allah, to be worshipping another thing apart from Allah, they would disobey him. That is why he was taking it step by step. Gradually. And Yabdahu, the Khutuatin, Sagir, Awalan. Wahia and Yadi Alahom, Yes, no, Ma'am, enough to them to make the image. And that is how they made the image. When they made the image, you know, after that, when they made the image, you know what the shaitan did was that if was not told them to make the image, just to be remembering they are four, there are five righteous men. That is the logic. Then after that, Satan now told them that ah, this um, uh, the five righteous men, five righteous men you made, supposed to be paying them visit. Very early in the morning, they will go and visit them. And before you know, just to give them the visit, it not said they should be worshipping all those five men in the first place. But after some times, when the people who are alive during that time, when they made the image, when they died, Shaitan later came to the children of these followers, to the children of those who made the image, and whispered to them, and told them that, you know those images that your parents made, they were worshipping them. They were worshipping them. So, out of ignorance, that is why knowledge is a reason to escape certain things, to escape the plan of shaitan. But, but ignorance can make someone to fall into something negative, bad. So out of ignorance, all these people, the children of uh, all those people who are around, who are alive, alive then, when they came, the shaitan whispered to them that they should be worshipping all those five images. And that's how they started worshipping it. So that is how idol worshipping began. That is how idol worshipping started. So when it started, so... That's the mission why Allah sent the prophet Noah. You know, his own mission is different from the other prophet. Prophet Adam, there was nothing like idol worshiping. Then, in the reach, there was nothing like that. But when he came, when he came to the the tenor, the time of Prophet Noah, all these things had already started, established. Because all this one, this one we are saying now, it's before Prophet Noah. And that's how they began the idol worshipping. Don't let anybody deceive you. Don't let anybody tell you that, ah, no, uh, the false religion is also religion. No. And uh, no, uh, it was before Islam, some uh, people are worshipping people. Are, before, before they brought Islam to so 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 place, that one can be said. Before the Islam was introduced to Nigeria, for example. Uh -huh. But right from the beginning, when Allah created this world, the world started with Islam. So that is why Allah sent the prophet know who his own difficulty time. That's where we are going. His own challenge, his own trial of Allah is to call people to Islam. Is to call those people who are worshipping those five 
righteous men because they have turned them to God. So that is why Prophet Nuh alayhi salatu was alam came. When he came, he now started preaching. Started preaching, started telling his people that, ah, no, this uh, uh, idol worshipping, trying to take them away from it. That they should desist from it. So that's why Prophet Nuh said in Quran and Karim, Wakalu. The difficulty time, the difficulty time of Prophet No, the challenge, the mission, the trial is how to warn. To warn is people who are worshiping idols. Who started worshiping idols? Who was worshiping Wadas, Wa'ai, Yabusa, Yauka, Wanesa? That was the reason why Allah sent the Prophet Nuh to warn them. Because they believe in polytheism. I want to know, know who was calling them to monotheism. So the difficulty time of Prophet Nuh is that polytheism, he was trying to move them from polytheism to monotheism. And under, the, under this, there are seven steps. There are seven things under uh, when the Prophet Nuh was trying to bring them from monotheism, uh, polytheism to monotheism. May Allah make it easy and accept our ibadah. The point we are trying to make here is that we are still under uh, the life history of Prophet Nuh, alayhi salatu was salam. The difficulty time he faced was how to call his people to Allah. And uh, no, there was no uh, religion, no any religion before Islam. Islam was the first religion in life. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept our ibadah. Subhanaka Allahumma bihamdik nashadu Allah ilaha illa anta nastaghfirullah wa natubi ilayhi. Subhanallah wa